Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. This week I have been extremely busy with work, so I haven't done anything to the house, but I thought I would share with you um, just a portion of what I actually do. Uh, this week, uh, one of my clients, uh, who's an interior designer, she was preparing for a um, client meeting. So I've been helping her with the design of the project and um, one of the things I actually enjoy doing is I make her presentation boards for her, um, for her meetings. So um, that's what you'll get to see, me making a presentation board. The project that we were working on this week is called Bavaro's. It's a pizza Italian restaurant. They make all of their stuff from scratch. They make pastas they and the sauces and they actually sell them. And I know that they are available in some Whole Foods and stuff so they're expanding but um, the restaurant is also expanding and they are opening one in the Orlando area. So that's the one that we um, are working on doing the design for. So without further ado, here is our design. And for my design board, I just use um, foam board, the really thick kind. And uh, for this project, I decided to um, pretty much put a piece of wall covering all over the entire thing to be basically the background to the design board. So everything will be on top of this board that's covered in wallpaper. So, and that's just kind of the main general wall covering that's. Um, going to go on most of the walls and I use spray mount to get it to stick to the board but then I also do reinforce it with um, the hot glue gun around the edges and now I'm just taking pieces of foam board just like thinner ones and wrapping my fabrics and a lot of them are vinyls because it's for a restaurant And um, for this job, we used a lot of um, just wood tone fabrics. Actually, and the one I'm wrapping right now is actually a cork fabric. And that's what we proposed to go on um, most of the, the seats in the space. And um, so we have wood tones, and I guess the main color in the, in the space is copper because of their big copper pizza oven which is pretty much the focal point of the restaurant so um, and you'll probably see that in the pictures but um, yeah and the, I did not draw those pictures we have um, somebody that does renderings, so he he did those drawings um, and basically I take all the samples that we want to show them and it's just a matter of kind of laying them out and moving them around and seeing exactly where I want them and where I think they'll look the best on the board. <clears throat> so like I said before it's a lot of wood tones, coppers, metals and some accents of cobalt blue just to kind of break up all the it's kind of a very much of a neutral palette so um, you know we wanted to add a little bit of color and right now I'm just cutting out squares to expose the foam board so I can actually glue um, those perspectives down because I don't want them to uh, be attached to the actual wall covering and then start pulling the wall covering off the board so if I stick it right to the board itself then we're all good and yeah, and I brought up binders to, to weight them down. That's why there's binders on there. So then I have wall coverings and the weird squiggly thing is actually it's lighting. It's upside down right now, but um, those are actually lights. And then um, the black square is um, a piece of granite, so that was a sample of what we like to see used in the space. And like I said, vinyls always good for 
restaurants, they could just, I mean, the seats that have vinyl on it could just be wiped down and they're really clean. So, oh, and here's me making, I glued it on and then it was just kind of not straight. So, yeah, sometimes you make mistakes, you have to peel it up and put it back down. So, that's the way it goes. And I'm just, yeah, the heavier stuff, I also, in, in addition to the hot glue, I'll use um, like a, some kind of heavy duty glue. So whether it's like Gorilla Glue or uh, liquid nails or something like that, then that will make sure that those heavier pieces actually stay on the board instead of falling off. Because the last thing you want is for pieces to fall off the board in the middle of a presentation. So here's the finished product. So here's some of the materials that we used for Bavaro's. So I hope you enjoy this video, a little kind of behind the scenes of what interior designers do. And um, yeah, if you see their sauces or pastas in the store, I hope you enjoy them. And I highly recommend you pick some up, or if you're in the Tampa or Orlando area, check out Bavaro's. I have like several catalogs. Um, these I think are all from last year though. They have outdoor furniture as well, and they have their lighting catalog.